Hello Libra, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you. Something that you don't expect, but it would benefit you to expect it. Okay. See what messages there is for you and what you're needing to hear. Let's see what's going on for Libras. Happy season, by the way. Alrighty. Alright, Libra. What is going on for Libra? What are we ooh, talking about today for Libra? I did see the three of pentacles there. Four of Wands. Nine of Cups. Okay. So you're re receiving a lot of things that you've wished for. That's what I'm getting from this. A lot of comforts that you wished for. Certain things that you wanted to adjust in your everyday environment. That's what I'm getting with the Four of Wands. Okay. With the Nine of Cups coming out too, you could be getting a lot of gifts. Especially, you know, it's your season. Justice. Yeah, there might be a certain gift that you're manifesting that's coming in for you. Um, or you might just be getting a lot of gifts from people. That specifically gifts that are going to make your home life more comfortable, make your everyday life more comfortable. Mother of Cups. Aww. You're going to feel very loved and appreciated during this season. Show me more for Libra. Okay, that's a lot. Wow. We have the Sun, the Magician, and the Mother of Swords. You literally manifested something very big for yourself. Um, I want to say life-changing. Level of happiness changing, I guess. Like, there's something about your comfort, being comfortable. Okay, this could be a new home, or you could be furnishing your home, or you, you're getting a lot of things to decorate your home. You might be just manifesting a lot of things right now. You might be receiving a lot from the universe. But this is you and your element. This is you and your element. This, you know, Libra season could be a very important season for you. You also could be dealing with another Libra, I want to say, as well. You might be manifesting something big, finally, that you've been asking for and wanting. Okay. All right. Let's try to get some more messages. Basically, you're in a receiving mode. You're receiving right now. Could have been something you waited a long time for, or you, like, you kind of were like, when is it going to show up? When am I going to receive this, manifest this? Okay, let's see what else we can get for you, Libra. There could be something important about the month of January. Um, there's Leo energy, Sagittarius energy, some Pisces energy. Some of you may have a Pisces, a really good Pisces friend that you're celebrating with. Okay. 
Ooh, some of you may be receiving some kind of proposal on your birthday or at your party or something like that. Or somebody that you don't expect reaches out to you on your birthday or for your birthday or just in Libra season in general. Okay. Messages for Libra. What else are we talking about for Libra? Hmm. I've been kind of wary about this deck lately. So I'm going to take that as a sign. Sorry, I just spent all that time shuffling that deck. Okay. Yeah, definitely seeing you receive like a lot of love and attention right now. Okay, all right. Show me more, more messages for Libra, please. The star. Your wishes were heard, your prayers were heard. You healed something, you're healing something. You are receiving some sort of manifestation that's going to help you heal even further. Okay, Aquarius energy. Aquarius energy um, could be important for you right now. You could have Aquarius in your birth chart. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. There could be something about Aquarius season. Okay. That could be that could have something to do with the January that I was talking about earlier. Something with January. You asked for a certain a certain comfort or your your There's a there's an issue in your environment that you're you were trying to solve or you are trying to solve and you're receiving the means to solve that. Judgment. Yeah, some of you are receiving good karma for work that you've done, healing that you've done. You brought yourself into an alignment into an into alignment with um, some something that you're trying to bring there's something about comforts there's something about wanting your environment to be more comfortable or your guides are trying to set you up in an, in an environment that nurtures your spiritual journey or your the healing process for you to help level you up there could be certain solutions coming in for financial things or Again, there could be something about you moving or cleansing your home, cleaning out your home. Yeah, you're being blessed with manifestations. sun again <laughs> this is all major arcana is coming out right now y yeah like you're about to be majorly blessed you should be very excited if this reading um is for you you should be very excited you're being leveled up you're you're being given physical means to help again nurture your spiritual journey or healing or just leveling up in general 
it's time is what I just heard. Okay. Jeez, getting hit in the face. The world, it's time. This is a new cycle for you. You're like being prepared right now. Or your environment's being prepared for the next chapter. That's nice. Alright, let's see what else is going on for you. Let's see if we can get some messages about what's going down. You're receiving a lot right now. Yeah, everything looks very positive for you. Gifts and wishes and certain dreams that are, are being um, brought into your physical reality. might be connecting with certain ancestors or you're looking into your ancestors or you're, yeah you're getting information on your ancestors but also connecting with them in a spiritual way there could be something specific that you do for an ancestor There could be something specific that you put out for them or put near something that they own or their photo or something that represents them. Okay. What else is going on for Libra? What else is going down for Libra? trickery okay hmm. Hmm. hmm okay so there's something about someone or Maybe even your ego is trying to get you to self-sabotage in some way. Um, there could be someone trying to instigate something with you or cause a conflict. Hmm. Tell me more. Someone's in a dark energy and they might be trying to bring you down with them. Okay, you might, okay, so there could be something about how you're in receipt, you're like receiving a lot right now and there could be someone who's not exactly ecstatic about this and maybe they're not verbal about that or even maybe they're not even conscious about that, maybe it's more subconscious for them. This person... It's just giving me, I'm going to sabotage you vibes. But also I'm saying that because um, the noose in this deck specifically talks about self-sabotage and anxiety. Someone could be trying to make you anxious. Um, and the knife talks about conflict in this deck. Uh, what's this? I forgot. The body. Use your senses um, in your discernment. When dealing with this person who's trying to kind of reflect their low vibrational energy onto you that's what I'm getting um, they could be making you feel anxiety you could be feeling anxiety there could be something about the solar plexus for you trust how you're feeling when you're dealing with this person don't let them trick you trickery don't let them get you to self-sabotage history is at the bottom you could have history with this person 
this could be the Pisces that I was talking about earlier. It doesn't have to be. This could be a family member. Abilities could be very sensitive right now. It could just be very sensitive to energy right now. Community. Some of you might be um, changing the people that you are surrounded by often. Yeah, some of you are going to be um, separating yourself from certain people and you end up much happier because of it. Um, you decided to take a new road. We have the, um, the evil eye symbol up there, but it's, it's supposed to be a moon, but it's made like the evil eye symbol. I forget the name of the symbol, but you know what I mean. Um, I feel like you are protected from the energy that this person is trying to throw at you. Again, either consciously or subconsciously, this person is trying to make you self-sabotage and give you anxiety about something. And you know that because the body card is here. You're like way sensitive to it. Maybe at a certain point you allowed it to happen or you allowed it to make you anxious, self-sabotage. But you are aware that it's happening or you're sensing that it's happening. You're more sensitive to it. And um, you might be deciding to separate. You might be getting a cat or you have a cat. That um, shields you from low vibrational energies. Some of you clean houses for a living or you clean spaces you also could um that could i could also be talking about like your like a spiritual cleanser or healer you heal spaces you cleanse spaces for people Ooh. <laughs> some of you like want to or you have some sort of business that's like you clean homes but you also cleanse them spiritually at the same time you could market that maybe this is an idea that you have or <laughs> maybe it's just a good idea in general You might have a good idea like even if it's not that idea that idea like you might have a good idea that you want to like move forward with and you're like fantasizing about it visualizing it Uh, all in all, what I'm getting from these here is there's someone who tries to bring you down, you're going to be separating yourself from them, and you're going to be much happier because of it. Or at least you're not allowing yourself to take on their energy anymore, because you can feel it. There might be something that's physically happening, specifically in like the stomach area for you. Um, you might be experiencing like physical symptoms. Okay, there could be something going on with your solar, your solar plexus chakra. Alright, anything else from this deck for Libra? Lion. Yeah, you, you come out of this much stronger um, and with certain wisdom that you didn't have prior. You're on the road to advancing to the next level. Your environment's being cleaned up. 
the people you're 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 surrounded by, the energies you're taking on, but also your physical space. Things are getting cleaned up so that you can again, I keep wanting to say it like this, but so you can be in a space where you're you're nurtured in a spiritual way, in a peaceful way, in a way that can help you progress. Your surroundings and your life is being made more comfortable, so you can do this. Okay. Um, let's get something from here. What is falling out? So many emergence. A new reality is coming forward, a new cycles coming forward for you. All right. What do we got for Libra? What energetically is going on for Libra? Cosmic flower, the number nine, and emergence. <laughs> oh, of course. All right, so we have the number nine and the number seven. Um, all right, cosmic flower. The frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. And emergence. The frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. Just kind of watch and see. Your environment's going to be changing. Um, I want to say over the next few months, but it really could be whenever. And we have authority, which is a number 10. Oh, what, what I was saying before is a number 9. You're coming to the end of a journey. You're receiving a new opportunity and closing out a cycle. The frequency of authority reminds us that true authority is powerful, directed, di directed and realized, yet receptive, wise, and loving. You're at the end of a cycle and you're being faced with the opportunity to finally come out and close out this cycle that you were in. And I, I believe that the reason that you're receiving so much abundance in your physical reality, so many manifestations, so many gifts from the universe, from people, from whatever, so many blessings and so much com comfortability in your life is being manifested because you decide to take this opportunity to close out a cycle and close something out, you refuse this low vibrational energy that maybe you were accepting in the past or maybe you were accepting for a long time and you're refusing it now. So now you've passed that test. You've passed, you've like, of if you were going to repeat the cycle or not, you chose not to. You literally energetically said, no, I'm taking this opportunity to move towards what feels good to me. And I feel like maybe there was something that was trying to block your sensitivities that maybe is now being lifted from you so that you can have more access to your true feelings, how you truly feel and your true guidance system within you. And you're being more connected, you're being, um, you're more aligned with your higher self and you're connecting more to your intuition, truly, and not going from, from an ego standpoint. Um, alrighty. Okay, I'll get one. I'll shuffle through these one time and see what comes out of this deck here. Alright. Final messages for Libra. These messages are meant to be taken personally, so take them however they resonate for you.
I am abundant. I attract everything I need. Wow. Affirmations. Lots two affirmations right now. There might be something about affirmations that you're doing or um, you might start doing start doing them. It might be actually changing um, a lot for you. So we have I am abundant. I attract everything I need and I am the love of my life. I am enough. So these might be really powerful affirmations for you to use. Okay, I'll look at one more time. But two affirmations. Beautiful. Okay. We have time for adventure. Turn waiting into living. Be spontaneous. Try new things. If not now, when? Beautiful. Thank you so very much, Libra. I wish you the best of luck as you move through this energy. Uh, if it resonated, I hope it provided you with guidance and clarity on your situation. And best of luck as you move through it, of course. If you'd like a personal reading, you can take a look at the description. Depending on when you're watching this, um, there's one more day for the discount code that I have in the description for any of my personal readings from my website. So if you're interested in that, that'll be there. And thank you again and lots and lots and lots of love to you as always. Bye.